So I stream study with me, uh, study with me streams on Twitch, and I'm kind of like looking for ways to make my stream look a lot nicer and a lot more appealing. And I noticed that a lot of the bigger study with me uh, streamers, they have like a bunch of uh, widgets and overlays, and it looks really cool. I kind of want to like recreate the Pomodoro timer that they use. Essentially, that's the goal for today. <laughs> So currently, this is what I have as the all the widgets that I put on my screen during the streams. And this is essentially the first aspect of it. It's essentially compromise of three other widgets. So we have this stopwatch thing and then a text that when I click, it alternates between study and break. So people know if I'm studying or am I like on a break and also the Pomodoro account which is run by this separate application that binds my key so that when I press the plus button it should increment and it's also very slow so that's another issue. The design that I'm trying to go for is something that's like a little bit more nicer and so this is an example well not an example but this is a project that I've worked on in the past a weather app and this is what I want my widgets to kind of look like a little something maybe I'll just put like the day and time here or something and then the Pomodoro timer and stuff on this side so yeah this shouldn't be too complicated I think it might take a while to be fair during the implementation but essentially now that I have the design it, it should move a lot quicker So I've created this new repository and all we need now is to just code everything up. And I'm going to be using HTML, CSS and JavaScript if you're interested. And it shouldn't be fairly difficult because all the three widgets that I showed just now, two of them I coded it myself in a way. So it's just a matter of combining these and it shouldn't take too long. But yeah, so enjoy this super cool coding montage. That should be it. Uh, yeah. So essentially, we have the the day, the date, and then we have the the timer that we can just set. Then it counts down. Can swap it. Oh wait, I have to change this. Yeah. And then we have the total sessions that we can set when we first load the widget. We can increment it after each session. We have a little space to add the goal and a little space for the chat. So yeah, I guess all that's left really is to make this background transparent and change the font to white. And yeah. So now let's test the, now let's test the overlay. So essentially all you need to do is kind of uh, click add, click on browser. Um, I'll just call this overlay. All right. And select the local file. I don't know if you can actually see it, but yeah. Local file, I have to actually go into it, which is quite far, I think. All right, so then it's here. And then once you're in the file location, you select the index and yeah, so then We'll just set it to the resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. And hopefully that should work. You can see we have our overlay, which is pretty cool. <laughs> we can just interact with this. Uh, yeah, so we just probably need to zoom in a bit. 
and then we can click the play button and then it runs and then, yeah restart it switch between then we can just click on this little thing click on here and uh, yeah cool <laughs> So essentially all you need to do now in the process is you find out your git status then you just add everything and commit. Sounds simple but essentially it could get a lot more complicated if you're working with multiple people there's conflicts and yeah so I'm just gonna put initial commit or rather technically I've already finished everything. Finished a project I guess maybe and yeah so then after that we just push the final product so now it should be on here so everything's all here and the way we publish it or at least for now it's kind of like you just deploy from uh you just select the main branch and save and after a while it will be published so yeah that's it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be posting more content like this where I make projects and explain the thought process throughout the entire thing. And in the future, I'll probably work on more bigger, uh, bigger projects. So yeah, stay tuned.